Uh, hi, Paul. Hey, what's going on? What well, are we doing? Well, I brought you down here because oh, I yeah. thought it would be kind of fun to promote our new show and show everyone around the set. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm Paul. And I'm Mike. We're going to take a little tour of the set. Overall, Let's check it out. Here's, oh. Here's the general. Yeah. You see, we have a lot of things. Stuff and things. We've got cool lights. Warp tubes, as I call them. Uh -huh. A red one and a blue one. Uh, and then, uh, you know, some cool chairs. Some nice green class. Oh, not green. Jeez. Those are orange. Orange chairs. We have a cat that stays on set. Hi, TC. In the centerpiece here, you might notice there's a, a TV, an old style TV with the, our movie logo on it. Uh, and we got a laser disc player down on the bottom. Oh, wow. We got a cool. VCR right here, and a lava lamp, and some cool little guys around, some creatures, and uh, you know, but then everything else is just scattered with DHS tapes and posters. Let's take let's take an in-depth look. Mm -hmm. Let's start over here. This is the part of the set that you really don't get to see very often. No, yeah, I'm on the side here. Hardly at all. Suspiria, looking yeah. cool. Haven't seen it. Want to. The last 12 minutes of this film are the first 92... Wait, what? No, the, the only thing more terrifying than the last 12 minutes of oh, this film... Oh, I should read the first, the first line. the first 92, which kind of means that the ending sucks. <laughs> yeah, right? And, you know, some sexy ladies. Oh, Jane Mansfield. You know, we got some classic Fuga de New York. Yeah. You know. Spanish. Mm-hmm. This is a, a poster oh. that I bought at a uh, comic book convention. Good movie, too. Yeah, we watched oh, that movie. We watched Flesh Burn. Burn. Yeah, that's a fun one. We should review that. We'll review that sometime. This is like our biggest poster on the set. Yeah, it is beautiful. It is. Uh, well, keeping up top here, we got you know JP Squared. Yeah, cool your, guy. Your main man. Well, your main man as well. He's cool. He's cool as hell. Yep. You know, going through Dracula's dog, Slaughter, Sadus, the oh, Pink yeah. Angels. The Jesus trip. I kind of really yeah. want to see that one. Is there a yeah. nun on the back? <laughs> uh, it looks nuts. I never noticed that. Yeah, me either. Uh, Creature of the Walking Dead. Terrible. Some drug overdose movie. Mad Max. I don't even need to say it. You said it. Back to the Beach was here, but we reviewed it. And yeah. Took it to the so beach. We had to take it to the beach. Or if this comes out on YouTube or whatever before we before that episode airs, we will be reviewing it. Yeah, that's true. Depends on when you're watching it. It's all about the future. Right. You know, if you watch it at some point, you're going to say it. But if you watch it at another point, you know, yeah. it's all all to you. Right. Ah, a little white knightling. You know. He's in, uh, we see him a lot behind your head. Yeah. Well, this is a sequel to Gator. Uh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Burt Reynolds as Gator. Mm hmm. Yeah, this guy's creepy. Mm hmm. I got a couple Instagram uh, comments about this guy over my shoulder. He's in an episode. Of, he's an episode of Star Trek. Is he? Yeah. As this character? No. As the Jigsaw. No. Beast Within. Orgy. They had a classic. Yeah. Classic film. Summer Job. Awesome VHS mm -hmm. cover right there. Cool looking. Oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, what do we got down here? Mm. I really like this one a lot. Love I've that not movie. seen this. I would love to see it. I have. It's you fantastic. Have? It sounds like it. It is. It really is. Yeah. Brian De Palma. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. Didn't realize First that. First film, I believe. So that's pre-Scarface then? Yes. Okay. Squirm. Mm-hmm. I wonder if that's as good as it looks. Probably not. That's an awesome cover. That was one of my favorite covers. <laughs> yeah. How to have a money-making garage sale starring Phyllis Diller. What's up, Phyllis? There's a laser disc, Forbidden mm -hmm. Planet. Classic film. Mysteries from Beyond Earth. Mm-hmm. Late Great Planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Scorchy down there. Tommy hey, Stevens. Oh hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here. What do we got? Well, first of all, depending on when you've watched this or when this gets released, we will be reviewing this film, yeah. the Wizard of Speed and Time. Won't tell you what we thought about it till you watch it. Mm -hmm. But we had feelings. Let's just scan these tapes real quick. Yeah. Kind of go through. Mm -hmm. You can highlight anything that you oh, want. Oh, that to Chris like. Elliott special, the Omega Code. <laughs> Cherry 2000s is really good. Hurricane Smith. Love oh, Hurricane yeah. Smith. Got in some tweets with uh, with that gentleman. Mm hmm. Carl. Know, Carl. <laughs> Carl Sagan, I almost said. Carl Weathers. Yeah, Carl Weathers. Moonlight and Escanaba. Maybe you know that. Oh, Escanaba and the, Escanaba Moonlight. And the Moonlight. You might know that from, uh, you know. Drunk movie reviews. Yeah. More of an indie film, but we threw it in here. We like that yeah. movie. We threw it in. 
in our stack. I'm gonna point this one out real quick. Rosemary's Baby? No. A little High Strung. Oh, High Strung, one of your all time favorites. One of my absolute all time favorites. Uh, Glenn Glenda, Video for Cats, Kitty Face. The Exterminator, you know, some good stuff. Blues Brothers 2000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, this one. I we, I want to watch Kiss Meets the Phantom of the, of the Park. Mm -hmm. They go to Magic Mountain and they fight a phantom. <laughs> we gotta watch that. All right, let's see right here. Three Bad Sisters. Plan 9, obviously. Gotta have that in there. Wimps. Cra, the sea monster. <laughs> Uh, Kingdom of the Sp Kingdom of the Spiders. I have that on DVD. That's, that's a movie. Amazon Women. I want to watch Six Pack Annie. Six bad. Six Pack Annie. There's a Clint Eastwood poster down there behind the dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got Victim of Desire right there. Oh yeah. Johnny Another Mnemonic. One. There's our lava lamp. There's just stuff all over. Mike, here's your notepad that you yep, use I to take, take notes. notes. Don't, well, don't show me any of the oh, secrets. Sorry. Oh yeah, keep them off that. Top we got, secret. We do some cool stuff. Here's a stack of the movies. Um, some of the movies that we've reviewed or are reviewing. Bionic Ninja, I just picked that up. Delivery mm. Boys, all sorts. Can I point something out real quick? Yeah. A little uh, deep cut, if yeah. you want. Know. Check out down here. Glory of the Dead. Mm -hmm. Broken tape. Broken tape. Got broken a move. So yeah. that, uh, you know, that, that made basically me have to buy the box set to get this. Right. A box set of Ed Wood movies. We watched that tape like crazy. Oh man. So then I bought that, but guess who else bought that box set after I did? I did. You did, because mm -hmm. it's a real good box set. It's awesome. Oh yeah, there's so much stuff. The movies that we've reviewed again. Mm -hmm. Most of these are yeah, ones we've watched. This is a 8mm film, believe it or not. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Super Got that cool. Out. I believe uh, that's discussed in one of Paul's Halls? Yes. Yeah. In the middle section, we have our lovely lady here wearing her Troll 2 t-shirt and not much else. Some underwear. Oh my. Just being, you know. More tapes right there. Oh yeah. Can you see that okay? There you go. Prada 2, the spawning, uninvited. Oh, oh man. Classics. Got our Cthulhu dude up there. And then some more tapes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Quantum Deep. We got a room bobblehead figure. Very cool. Super, super cool. You want to get in here, Mike? Sure, let me get in here. Uh, what do we got here? We got Rectum Records. I can't, I can't look at that. Why? Because of that. There's, Paul. <laughs> yeah. There's Rectum, Rectum Records. Records. Below that is the Buttercream Gang sequel film, Secret oh, of Treasure Mountain. Oh, man. We uh, do discuss Butter, the original Buttercream Gang movie. Yeah. Uh, I won't tell you how we felt about it, but uh, we had some thoughts about it. it. You gotta watch it. Here's some, these right here, This, these three right here, Desert Commandos, Forgotten Warrior, and Five Deadly Angels are all from Puerto Rico, I believe, Paul? Yeah. Weird Puerto Rican ones. If I could pull these out, I would, but I can't. But I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited about those. We got Splatter University. Final Impact is a Lorenzo Lamas one. You love you some I love Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Good stuff. Uh, Silent Running. Little note is what Mystery Science Theater is based on. Oh. There's a. It's not. I don't know if it's really a B movie, but uh, Bruce Dern, robots. It's just him and robots in space, and awesome. that's what that's what Joel based it on. Very cool. Oh look, here's my Paul's halls. Paul's tape. halls. Ewoks. E, 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 e. This one here, Paul, Paul, come up to Dead Kids. This was filmed, I believe, in Galesburg, Illinois, right? Yeah. Yeah, a real indie film, indie B-movie kind of situation. Gotta watch that one. Yeah, we need to watch that. Let's check out these posters and tapes. Hard to Kill, Hell's Bells, Psych Out, Theodore Rex with Whoopi Goldberg right there. The thing with two heads, you see that behind my head a That's lot. Like, I love that. Have you seen that one? No, I oh, don't think man. so. Oh, man. Casey Kasem's in it? Cool. No, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> I'm thinking of the terrible two-headed yeah, transplant. That's not Casey Kasem. No, no. Well, he... Either way. No, no. But that looks... I've seen the trailer for that. It looks really good. Mm-hmm. There's my little kitty right there. Just hanging out with some tapes. More tapes. More, more tapes. So many more tapes. All sorts of good stuff. And then... Got our last wall here. Well, we got this over here too. Well, well we got, yeah. We got stuff. My pretty poison. Blade of no grass. Wait, well, no blade of grass. Yeah. You know, whatever this is called. Corruption. 
You haven't seen Straw Dogs, have you? No, I haven't. That movie is so good. It's a peck and paw. Not really a B movie. Ah, they, well, it is. It's peck and paw. It's, okay. it's, it's, you know, un, under budgeted and, you know, whatever. A Town Called Hell. <laughs> One of the best movies ever One made. One of the best, 25 best ever made. War Goddess. Uh -huh. Zombie. Oh, Look boy. at this girl, Teenage Jailbait. Trouble. Zardoz. Little Zardoz. Check out this thing that I got. I picked this up at like a little, a cool little record store in Rockford. The Curse of the Werewolf. And it's framed. I love that that's, that's cool. on our set. Oh yeah. Got Yogg, Monster mm. from Space. It's a movie favorite. Glenn or Glenda. <laughs> Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. They are just yeah. crazy kids. Totally crazy. Pieces, tidal wave, and then we have a couple laser discs right here. The Killer's Edge and <laughs> Lyle Alzado in the Destroyer. I oh, I know that's a jackhammer. Yeah. But I always think it looks like some sort of like a vacuum. Yeah, they crazy just hold gun. it up. And then a couple posters right here on the edge. Fonda Festival. What is that? Uh, JC. I don't even know what that movie's called. I think called. it's called JC. Okay, yeah, you're right. There's my warp tube right there. Check it out. That's a cool look. And that just about does it. Yeah. Except for all these. Here's the laser disc player. And then mm -hmm. even all the way down here, there's tapes and stuff all the way back there. We just jam-packed this whole thing, didn't we? Oh, we, we just packed it up. Yeah. And now, real quick, I want to throw it to the man on the street, our best main dude, Tim. What's going on on the couch? Just, just drinking. Thanks, Tim. That was fantastic. I'm glad you're doing a good job. Uh, anyway, so Paul. Yeah, there you have it. That's our set. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you so much. I hope you tune in and watch. You know, the show. We're really excited about it. What's it called? B-Movie Mania!